Hey Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to today's readings. Now in just a couple of days from the time of doing this reading we have a super full moon. It's a super full moon in Aries. Now these readings are timeless. Oh, I'm seeing for pile one already. These readings are timeless. You can tune in with them at any time. But what we're actually asking, if you're tuning in with these at the time of my doing the reading, we're asking what is this super full moon illuminating for you? And we're asking actually for a deeply personal message. I'm seeing this for pile two. And I am seeing this for pile three. So what is the full moon illuminating for you? We have three piles. We have rabbit for pile one. We have fish for pile two. And we have bat for pile three. So these are our cards and I'm going to draw a rune and a charm as well. So we are asking, what is the full moon illuminating for you? Let me just see if I can make sure that camera is focusing properly for you. Okay, so, rune first. Ooh, two for pile one. You have the rune of manas, the self, and you have ingas, the rune of fertility. So this is pile one. Do you know these cards are really moving around a lot um, which I think is really really interesting it's not like there's anything different on my table how fascinating that we're seeing a lot of movement a lot of energy around the cards and um, just almost as if they can't quite sit still I think that's really interesting at the beginning of this reading and your charm you have for pile one you have the spider Beautiful little charm. Okay. So that is pile one. Pile two, fish. You have the rune of Nathus. This is the rune sometimes of constraint. And we also have the rune of Gibo, which is partnership and sometimes a gift. So that's for pile two. And your charm. Mm. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh, you have the pointy feather. One of the pointy feathers. Beautiful feather. And for pile three, with the bat energy, you have... You have the rune of wholeness, Suelo, and you have Rado, the rune of journey. And then your rune, your rune, your charm, you have. You have a crab. That is your charm pile three. So beautiful souls. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for joining me. If you are watching this at the time of my recording and uploading the reading, the energy is pretty intense at the moment, beautiful souls. So remain centered, remain calm. Trust that whatever happens, you're being shown things, you are receiving guidance. But if you need to get still, just drop into silence, um, drop into stillness and just be present and observe. It's a very, it's a very reactive energy around. Um, I'll say more in the readings. Um, so beautiful souls. What is this super full moon illuminating for you? We are asking for a deeply personal message. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to anyone, by the way, who is, I've forgotten this, um, just wanted to say welcome. Welcome to anyone who is um, returning to the channel and welcome to anyone new. My apologies, missing my welcomes. Um, beautiful souls, I'm going to leave the video running for just a few moments longer. Take as long as you need. And if you need to press the pause button, that's totally cool as well. And I will see you in a minute in the readings.
Hey Pile One, welcome to your reading. Whether you are watching this as I've uploaded it in the energy of this super full moon in Aries or you're watching it at a later date, welcome. The energy is quite intense and the energy of Aries is very self-focused. So, and you have manners, the rune of the self. And so we are asking for a deeply personal message. What is the full moon illuminating for you? And that will be relevant to you. Something is being illuminated for you at any time that you find this reading. Look at this full moon. When your fortune is good, share it. Mm, this is very fortuitous, uh, beautiful souls. How amazing. What else do we have? Let's get your oracle cards out first. I'm seeing two angel cards here for you. And a lovely new pack of cards here, which is super nice to be using. And um, these are the Chinese, just for those of you that are interested, the Chinese Five Elements Oracle. And this is a new pack. I haven't used, it's the first time I've used them on the channel. Okay, we have the full moon. When your fortune is good, share it. I feel like I want to put this over here. Very interesting. Now we have angels of the universe. Something is opening up for you. This is literally something is being illuminated. Now you have a full moon. Rabbit in the headlights. This was coming through when, when, when I first drew the card. Angel of wisdom. Okay, we have water pig, being in the flow. Water rat, focus on your vision. And look at this card here, angels of the universe. A metal monkey, let go of control. Wow, these are really interesting cards, beautiful souls. Really, really interesting. Let's draw some... Yeah, let's draw some tarot cards and see what else we're shown here. What is being illuminated? What is this deeply personal message for you, Pile One? What is this deeply personal message from the universe? Ace of Discs, wowza. I'm just going to say, wow, okay. This is looking really, really exciting for you. I mean, I, and that's not an understatement, my lovely Pile One. This is looking really exciting. What is being illuminated for you? Okay, we have the Ace of Discs showing itself, first of all, for you. Let's move those along a little bit. And we have the card of Strength. We have the Universe, okay. We then have the Six of Discs. We have the Wheel of Fortune. How interesting. Let me move everything along a moment. Let me press the pause button. There we are, beautiful souls. Everything is in vision, I think. I hope. I hope you can see everything. So, okay. I think that something is, what is being illuminated for you is a very, very, very clear pathway. Focus on your vision. Being in the flow, let go of control. This is about trusting the universe and literally following step by step what you are shown. And this is a deeply personal message. This is like a change in fortune, literally a change in fortune. When your fortune is good, share it. Now, I think you've had to, for some of you, um, Wait, be patient, persevere, overcome obstacles with the strength card. You may have had to, yeah, literally overcome obstacles to be where you are. You've been on a steep learning curve, some of you, with the angel of wisdom. But you are literally entering a phase where the universe is literally guiding you. You're being shown a direction. Focus on your vision. Do not lose sight of your vision at all. Just be in the flow, relinquish control and just trust. The deeply personal message is for you to trust. Let go of your concerns about anything not working out. The rabbit in the headlights. I wonder whether for some of you something is opening up. 
And this has been coming through in some other readings recently, something opening up, the wheel is turning, a change in fortune. I think you've worked for it, you've waited for it, but almost as if you could be a bit, um, I'm hearing as well that it's that Manfred Mann song, Blinded by the Light, as if you could really be sort of blinded by the enormity of your vision and the potential, like, like something is coming through for you. And fast with the Knight of Wands. This is a fast card. I love that we have the Six of Discs, which is a card of comfort and generosity. When your fortune is good, share it. Interesting, isn't it, that we have the Ace of Discs, which is a beginning, but we also have the Universe, which is... That it's the world card in a traditional pack so it's an ending and a beginning this is a rune of completion of fertility six of discs and six of cups both cards of generosity of giving of you know your cup overfloweth here with this seagull here as well I think this is your route to freedom in some way, certainly financial freedom. So something is seriously looking up for you. Seriously looking up for you. And it's this full moon that is illuminating the way for you. You're going to be shown, literally, step by step, what you need to do to move something forwards, to bring it to fruition. The wheel is turning. You're moving to a really, really good place. A really good place. Let go of control and trust. Now, I want to ask for more information for you. Can we please ask, let's see, what are the best questions to ask for you? I mean, clearly, it's, the message is very clear in terms of going with the flow. Let go of control, trusting. You're being the, the, the pathway is being illuminated. It'll be one step at a time. You'll know what to do from literally almost day to day. What are, may we ask for any information about the way that this is going to be shown, things you should be looking, is there anything that my beautiful pile one should be looking out for? Okay, so we have temperance. And then we have the Knight of Cups. How interesting, we've now got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. And we have the sun. Wow. Okay. What should you be looking out for? Queen of Cups. Okay. I'm going to say look out for partnership. Now this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be Love, for some of you, it could be, this could be a partnership in, in you know, a working relationship. Your, your fortune is, is changing. Something you have been working on or working for is emerging. Focus on your vision. I think we are seeing some form of partnership here, though, with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Coming together. This could be a business arrangement, it could be a project. It's finding, I, I do feel there is a connection. Temperance sometimes indicates a relationship of higher consciousness. It indicates a relationship where two people come together. And it's very guided when it happens. It's also very balanced, it's very equal. So I think this is about it, looking out for the right person or being aware of someone coming into your world who is going to be part of this pathway, showing you the way, liaising with you, supporting you, working with you, loving you, whatever that will be. How interesting. Okay, very creative energy, very creative partnership here coming in. And it concludes something. If you are somebody who has been working on your own, spinning your own web, this may be the point when you actually, yeah, the right person comes in to work alongside you or to work with you and fast. Something is happening quite suddenly here with the Wheel of Fortune as well, my beautiful pile one. 
This is suggesting something is going to happen quickly, I think, here. Hence the rabbit in headlights, hence the blinded by the light. It's almost like it comes out of nowhere. With the strength card, just when you feel that you are having to keep persevering, having to keep going, having to find the patience. Suddenly, it's like bingo, here you are. But I think it comes through a connection with someone. Let's ask a little bit more about this connection. May we ask about how this connection might arrive? May we ask how this connection might arrive? Could we have any more details about how this connection might arrive? How interesting, we have the devil. Hmm. This is curious. I'm going to ask for more clarification about this card. May I have some more clarification about the card before I voice what I think I'm seeing? Yes, here we go. We have the Ten of Cups. I think um, with the devil, this is... This is a very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... It's a very wonderful offer. It, it and oh, of course, with this Aries energy, wh whenever you're coming to this reading, the energy of, of these readings contains this passion, this fire, Knight of Wands. No wonder the rabbits in the headlights. This is desire. This is something you desire. It's something you want. It's something you want to commit to. Th this is a dream. It's a it's a desire. So whether that is the perfect business partnership or the perfect, you probably say there's no such thing as perfect, I know, but you know, it's something that's really right for you. The opportunity, that the, the horizon, the doorway, the gateway that's opening for you is coming through a connection with someone. And yeah, I, I think this is really opening the door, doors to your desires. You're going to feel very strongly about this. It would be like meeting someone and it could be a chance or a fated meeting, something that comes unexpectedly, just when you were least expecting it. But wow, when it does, it's life changing. You know, you're not going to see the world in the same way. It may have been something you have been visioning in. Go with the flow. Don't try and control it either. We've got really clear messages coming here through here. Don't try and control this. You can't make it happen. Let it unfold organically. Go with the flow, literally. You have the star card. Wow, sitting underneath the sun. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just wild? Wow. Okay, I mean, this is, this is absolutely... Um, this is going to feel so right. It's irresistible. That's the word I'm looking for. It's irresistible. You know when you just can't not go there because it's irresistible. We have the High Priestess. Another card to suggest this is guided. Wow. I think this is absolutely an irresistible situation where you're just you feel so passionately about this person and about maybe what they represent or what they offer or there is something about this connection that opens doorways for you something is coming to into its position of fertility and when your fortune is good share it Enjoy it, love it, have it, share. Uh, it's very interesting. We have a card, cards here of generosity and of a full heart. Now, let us just ask, because I thought with the Ace of Discs, it had more of a feeling of a working situation, interestingly enough. I thought, well, your fortune is changing. Your fortune, um, and with the Six of Discs, I kind of thought, you know, perhaps this is money, your, your fortune is changing, your financial situation could be changing, your health could be changing, but we have the Six of Cups too, so it could also be your relationship status, your love, um, this could also be changing. May I please ask for a little bit more information about this? Okay, so we have the Hermit card. 
May I get some more clarification around the Hermit card, please, for my Pile 1s? May I have more clarification, please, around the Hermit for my Pile 1s? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. How interesting. And then we have the Three of Wands. Hmm. This is really guided. It's it's really fated. This feels it's got this quality of a fated meeting about it. it it's destined. Absolutely guided. I mean, so many cards are pointing in that direction with the high priestess, with the hierophant, and with the hermit. I also think with the hermit. Looking back. For some of you, this could be um, a dream that you are returning to. Or it could be a dream that you have held for a long time, a desire that you've held for a long, long time. And you've had to persevere to be where you are, ready to receive it. Even if it does like, like feel a bit blinding, blinded by the light. With the Hierophant, I think there is a validation here that this is worth committing to. Make the commitment. Trust. Let go of control. Free fall into it. Just trust that this is, it, there's so much promise here. This is full of promise. So trust, engage with it. Let go of control and just allow yourself to look ahead. Wow, 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 and more wow is what I want to say, my lovely pile one. This is lovely, it's, it's amazing. The full moon is, is illuminating the pathway ahead for you, but the pathway ahead is in some way connected to another person, to a connection with someone. It's a joyous connection. It's loaded with promise. I think this is someone coming in or reconnecting. For some of you, it could be someone from the past with the hermit. It could be someone um, who you have known before who comes back in, so it could be an existing connection that gets uh, re, not rekindled, but recommitted to. But there's a turning point here for you. It's interesting, this fortune, your fortune is changing. I mean, maybe this is a partnership for some of you where it really is that business partnership, that lucrative partnership, or it could be two people coming together and joining forces financially. Either way, this is looking really good. It's very equal. It's a very equal connection, whatever it is for you. Let's ask, my beautiful souls. I feel in many ways this deeply personal message we have, but I, I do feel I'd like to follow through a little bit more for you and just see what else we're shown. How might this be unfolding? What is the good fortune? Because it says when your fortune is good, share it. So what is the good fortune? Can we get some more indications about this good fortune? Actually, I'm going to draw more of these cards. This is what I'm being drawn to. Chinese five elements. May we ask about this fortune, please? What is the change in fortune, the good fortune? We have wood, tiger, powerful beginnings and progress. We have fire snake, living from the heart. And we have wood rabbit. Rabbit again showing up? Look at this. Follow your curiosity. Wow. Wow. Okay, pile one, and the snake shedding its skin. Honestly, this feels like it really taps into a major desire for you. Follow your heart, not your head. Follow your heart and follow your curious curiosity. Allow yourselves to, um, it is that let go of control. Go with the flow, let it unfold. Don't be afraid to commit to the journey. Something is being opened here for you, a pathway. And it really is changing your fortune. It really, really is. Follow your curiosity. Allow yourself to dis step into a space of discovery. Whatever this offer is, this connection, this opening that comes through a connection with someone, 
it really is a turnaround for you. It's it's a new beginning. It's it, the wheel has turned and it's a period of fertility. Now you might falter when you first find it because you're sort of thinking, "Whoa, what is, what is this all about?" It feels so passionate, so alive, so so amazing. Just follow it through. Trust. Let go of that control. Focus on what you want and what you desire and what you aim to get from this or what you are hoping to um, manifest, to draw in. And the universe will actually um, help you to, well, it, it will unfold. This is a connection of destiny. It's a connection of purpose. So whatever this relationship is and what it, whatever it means for you, in whatever way it arrives, I'm seeing it arrive in the form of a person. This is what's being illuminated for you that someone is coming in and they will be the something or be bringing the something that you desire and that pathway will be opened up for you because of your connection to this person. This is really very specific. Uh, I guess that's what we ask for, a deeply personal message. I feel very humbled and very grateful. Pile one, this is your reading. I am sending you so, so much love. Keep us posted in the comments. Let us know how this unfolds. It is absolutely wonderful to read your comments and hear what's happening in your world. Beautiful souls, I am sending you the biggest hug ever. I am mega, mega excited for you. Uh, yeah, so keep us posted if you feel able. Tons of love. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and all the things you do that support the channel. Um, and yeah, I am just sending you the biggest hug ever. And I am just holding that excitement for you. Tons of love. Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So we are asking for a deeply personal message. What is the super full moon illuminating for you? The energy of this moon, even though it's a timeless reading, uh, every reading in many ways is, if you're drawn to it, then it's probably speaking to you. But even though um, even though this is timeless, the energy of Aries is, is very self-orientated. It's very much based on the eye. So we know this is going to be a very personal message for you. So I'm, oh, do you know this is mind blowing? This is the card that came out for pile one. Wow. Okay. How interesting. If you were drawn to pile one, um, there may well be a message for you there. And I highly, highly recommend that you check that pile out too. When your fortune is good, share it. Wow. Wow. Fish. I'm hearing there are plenty of fish in the sea. That will be a message that is coming to some of you. For some of you and not all. Also, Nathis, the rune of constraint. Um, this rune urges patience and it says, when fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. Have you been biding your time waiting for something? Have you been patient? Have you been paying attention to the details? The rune of Gibo partnership can also indicate a gift. What is coming to you? Let's draw more cards. I am so super excited. I am so, so, so super excited to see. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing this card as well for you. Three cards for you from this pack. I, I am really super excited to see what we're shown. Pile two. The energy around your reading is phenomenal. I'm seeing this and this. And that one. Okay, three of each. Let's see what we have. Okay, you have Angel of Power, Angel of Belief, and Angel of Music. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and we have Earth Snake. Gratitude leads to abundance. We have Earth Dragon. As above, so below. And we have metal sheep, foresight and careful planning. Okay. Let's move these along. Right. My lovely pile two. As above, so below. Gratitude leads to abundance. Hmm. When your fortune is good, share it. 
I'm going to draw your tarot cards before I say any more. I can see where your reading is going, but I just want to get that little bit more clarification. these first my beautiful pile two you have the knight of wands you have the card of strength and you have the empress let's put our cards up here angel of power hmm. i find myself almost wanting to ask you how are you actually feeling at the moment are you finding that you are feeling quite powerful? Are you motivated? What's your state of belief? Because I feel like you are actually able to kind of manifest something, actually. Like music to your ears. When your fortune is good, share it. The full moon energy... I think is opening up a space. Look at this, how interesting. We have discs, the five of discs, we have the universe and we have the three of cups. I did say if you were drawn to pile one, you might find it's really valuable to you. The knight of wands was in pile one, the card of strength was in pile one, the universe was in pile one. So what is being illuminated? What's the full moon illuminating? A deeply personal message. I want to say pay attention to the details with Nathus. Like when fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. This is like don't lose sight of what you are manifesting. And the, I feel like the universe is literally on the edge of delivering something to you. You're right on the edge of some kind of success. And what is kind of happening here is that I think you slip into elements of what I would call probably historical thinking, self-doubt or whatever that would be for you. Limiting beliefs, things that slow you down, energy that slows you down. This is a time when really... You don't want to be, um, you don't want to be, you don't want to be lingering on anything that is negative or anything of the past, or anything that has exited your world. Just let it go and leave it, leave it behind. Don't hold on to anything here that isn't worthy of who you want to be and where you're going and the dream that you are visioning in. Your vibration, keep your vibration high. It's like sing the song that you want to. I'm also hearing don't compromise, as in, I don't mean don't compromise in an, you know, an everyday way, because we should never not compromise. You know, sometimes we need to negotiate, but compromise isn't about compromising. There are certain things that um, what do I want to say. Don't settle for less is what's coming through. It's that kind of compromise. Don't compromise your your real big dreams. Stand in your power. Believe that you can have the bigger dream. Do not lose sight of where you're going. As above, so below. There's a huge amount of power coming to you. Power of manifestation, personal empowerment. This is a time to step up into your strength, your courage, and see something through. Keep going, but do so diligently. This is not about rushing with something. It's not rushing into something. It's not, um, it's not forcing anything to happen. It's, pra it's like allowing it. Allow it to unfold. Nathus, the rune of constraint. This is simply asking you to pay attention to the details. Not be shipshod in, or, you know... What's that saying? A half a job, John. You know, you don't want to be, you want to be doing whatever you're doing, do it well. Do it really, really well. Foresight and careful planning. Be very precise. Some of you are needing to be quite precise with the details of something you're working on. Don't be tempted to cut corners in anything, beautiful souls. 
you again don't compromise don't cut corners pay attention to the details because your fish will come come in i'm also hearing um you're you're not going to be a big fish in a small pond there's a great big world out there and it's waiting for you you know you're going to be a big fish in a big pond rather than a big fish in a small pond so don't compromise don't compromise on your dreams. You have the power of the dragon within you, as above, so below. There is something really profound happening for you. It's like the universal energy is channeling through you. Have the courage to step up. Everything in your reading is saying step up, not down. Let's get more information for you. So what is being illuminated here? We're being shown that you need to pay attention to the details. We're being shown you need to step up into your own power. We're being shown that you need to believe, trust and believe. Hold, have the courage and the strength of your connection, connect, convictions of your beliefs and let go of anything that could be lingering or holding you back. Don't be dwelling on anything negative. We're being shown all of this. This is what is being illuminated so there could be some stuff going on around you that is tapping into some negativity or limiting beliefs. And what is being illuminated is the need to let go of those. Uh, for some of you, if you are working on something, paying attention to the detail, if something is taking longer than you think uh, that you thought it would, or you're, again, don't be tempted to cut corners, um, see it through, pay attention to the detail. If, if there's something that isn't quite right with something, it's showing you because it gives you the opportunity to put it right, to do it properly, to build that foundation so that as you launch um, into your world, you're on a really solid foundation. Just love any, any challenges that are around you. Love them for what they're showing you. If there's a challenge that has pressed your buttons, it's showing you that your buttons have been pressed. Well, they're your buttons. So decide what you're going to do about it. Empower yourself. If something's shown up and you think that's really not what I want, right, empower yourself. You know you want the opposite. Don't settle for less. Have the strength and the courage of what matters to you, of your desires. You're moving on a pathway that is right for you. You are rising. You are in, moving into a space of, a, of empowerment. Gratitude leads to abundance. If you are grateful for everything, including the challenges or the difficulties, which are actually helping you to iron out, as you iron out the difficulties, you're on solid ground. As you let go of limiting beliefs, you're on solid ground. As you recognise that something that hasn't worked for you, you let it go, you're on solid ground because you're making space for the new. Let's get some more details. Let's ask for more information for you, my beautiful pile two. May we ask for information about... Let's ask for information about the details. Is there anything that pile two need to be aware of around the paying attention to the details? Is there anything that pile two need to be aware of around the paying attention to the details? We have the hermit. You're being guided. Okay. We have the magician. Oh my goodness me, and we have the queen of wands. Do you know, whatever is showing up, it, if there are any hurdles around you, if there have been any setbacks recently on your pathway of desire, let's call it that, just trust that whatever was shown to you, it was helping you to release something, to let go of something or to pay attention to the details, to become more fully aware of something. Something is needing to be really um, attended to so that you are then liberated. It's like something has, has come into your world to strengthen your position. So even if it felt as though it, it was slowing you down. Actually, all it's done is firmed up your foundation. Really solidly, really firmed up your foundation. We have the magician, wonderful. You can, and and the, the magician with the queen of wands, honestly, pile, pile two, you can overcome anything. I, I feel like whatever is around you, you can overcome it. 
you can move through it, beyond it, you can step over it. Um, there, there is, I sort of almost want to say there's nothing that you can't do right now to move things forward for yourself. It's like the universe is backing you. So anything around you that feels as though it's holding you back, it's not really holding you back, it's simply getting you to pay attention to certain details. And that's what's being illuminated. Now, as my beautiful pile twos are rising into a space of empowerment, may we see how this unfolds, perhaps, seeing those two on the base of the pack. May we see how this unfolds, please. Well, we have the Nine of Wands, which is a card that indicates the overcoming of obstacles. We then have the Page of Pentacles. We then have the Nine of Swords and the Fool. We have a Death card. Wow, wow, and more wow. And then we have the Four of, of Wands. Okay. I actually think that you are in a position to overcome, literally, there's something around you that's being illuminated. Now, bearing in mind, at the time of this reading, obviously readings like this are timeless, so whenever you come to it, the energy hopefully will be right if you know, you're drawn to this, you're intuitively drawn to this reading. But at the time of uploading it, we have a very powerful super full moon in Aries. And some of the energy around it is pretty intense. And I think this is a moon that might illuminate some areas of your world where if, if there are any cracks in the wallpaper, they'll be illuminated. Not to bring you down, but so that you can actually fix them. Any difficulties that literally are surfacing at the moment, they're things that you need to attend to so that you're free to move forwards. If you don't attend to them, they will become a worry or a problem later on. It, it's that sort of saying, isn't it? A stitch in time saves nine. Or, which is why when fishermen can't go to sea, they mend their nets. If they don't keep up with the mending of their nets, then when they go fishing, they can't catch any fish. So there is something you need to be attending to, some details of something around you. It's either just attending to the details, being thorough, being meticulous, or for some of you it could be at what feels like a hurdle or something you're having to overcome or step over. And... Actually, the purpose of it is to strengthen your position. This is not to set you back, it's to strengthen your position. And whatever you are tackling, right here and right now, whatever is illuminated by this moon, whatever you're being shown, if you don't do it now, it will become a bigger thing later. It is, it's like if, if there was a, a hole in your roof and you just ignored it, you thought it's only a little hole. I'm not going to worry about that. Well, if you don't attend to it now, in a month's time, that's going to be a major leak. So, And then you'll think, oh, I wish I'd attended to it. So by attending to it now, actually, you put yourself on a solid foundation. Next time there's a storm, your roof isn't going to leak. It's irrelevant. You're free to move on. There's something that make, that you're attending to, that by attending to it, and the, the full moon energy is illuminating it, by attending to this, by being aware of it, knowing what you're dealing with, and being diligent about it, this is what sets you on this pathway of success, of good fortune, of celebration with the four of ones, of transformation. So something is being, and something will be illuminated. It possibly is already. Some of you will already know what this is. There's something that you need to transform from with this snake as well. I think it's like you're shedding a skin. For some of you, you're moving from something that is no longer relevant to you. Foresight and careful planning. If you really think about it, you'll recognise that what you're moving on from is you know, really a really important part of your development. And if you are pl simply planning ahead, then take your time and pay attention to the details. This is like planning a journey or planning your vacation, or, you know, and actually if you pay attention to the details now, it's all going to run smoothly when you get there.
But if you don't pay attention to the details and you rush on the journey, then actually when something goes wrong, you won't be prepared for it. Or if there's a diversion, you won't be prepared for it because you hadn't actually looked at the maps or looked at the directions. It really is like setting forth on a journey and paying attention to some kind of detail before you set forth. Um, and it is, it's that stitch in time saves nine. So whatever is being shown to you either now or around this time of the, the full moon, which is in just a couple of days, really pay attention, foresight and careful planning, diligence, and it's going to pay dividends for you. So something is being illuminated. May we just ask a little bit more about that. What is being illuminated? Could we get some more information around this? We may not be shown, but let's ask. Can we get any more information about what is illuminated? How interesting. So we have two cards of moving away. We have the Six of Swords and we have the Eight of Cups. And both of these cards indicate leaving something behind, moving on from something. And the Ace of Cups is a new beginning. Okay. So some of you may be shown something that you really want. And it makes you realise that where you are is no longer the right fit for you. But there is, I, I think probably most of you will know what this is in the context of your world. I do think there is something that feels like it's a bit of a tight squeeze or it's not really the right fit for you anymore. But it's interesting, there is a contrasting experience because I do think you're also being shown something that is what you want and and it's it's a very curious energy so in this illumination part of what part of how you're discovering what isn't working is through for some of you seeing something that is when you see somebody who has i don't know maybe they've got what you want it highlights for you that maybe where you're at at the moment isn't giving you enough. And so that's your inspiration. So I think for some of you, there is inspiration coming in. And that inspiration leads you to move on from something a bit like being a big fish in a small pond and realising there's a much bigger pond to go out and swim in. And once you realise that, you really can't, you really can't pretend that that big pond isn't out there and you want to be in it. However, you're needing to pay attention to the details in order to get from the small pond to the big pond. So yeah, pay attention to the details. There's some, there's some things you need to wrap up in order to go from the small pond to the big pond. Attention, pay this attention to detail. But wow, just be meticulous in your dealings, beautiful souls. And yeah, I, you're going to get to where you're going. When your fortune is good, share it. Um, why wouldn't you? How wonderful. I, I feel like there is no transformation that you can't do at this moment. Uh, there's nothing you can't achieve here at all. If anything, I think you're going to breeze it. The key here is breezing it not in a rush, but breezing it in a way that means you really, really um, think carefully and pay attention to everything along the way. So you are literally, it's that foresight and careful planning coming through with great abundance for any hurdles or hiccups that come along because they simply help to sharpen your vision. Pile two, this is your reading. I am absolutely thrilled for you. Whatever this is in the context of your world, you are moving into a much bigger space of abundance, of wonderfulness. So when your fortune is good, don't forget to share it. And I, I just feel something is escalating here. We've got celebration coming here. Something is escalating in your world. And yeah, for sure, there's a few bumps in the road along the way, but do not let them deter you. Step into your power. Go for it. I always think the pointy feathers say, go for it. Stay on track. What you desire is coming to you. So whatever hiccups have arrived or anything that has been a, a constraint or felt like a restriction, simply navigate it, step through it, over it, beyond it, because the world will let it go, because um, your world is opening up, and it's mind-blowing, actually, pile two, it is really mind-blowing, amazing, pile two, tons of love, I am sending you so, so, so much love, 
and I look forward to seeing you for another reading really soon. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and for leaving comments and letting us know what's happening in your world. And for all of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments, just thank you for being you. Tons of love. Pile three, welcome to your reading. The energy is just buzzing. So we are in the energy of a super full moon in Aries. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you come to this reading, the energy will be right for you if your guidance system and your intuition have brought you here. We're asking for a deeply personal message. The energy of Aries is very person-centered. And this is a full moon that offers to illuminate for us. You have the card of Bat, Suelo, the rune of wholeness, and Rado, the rune of journey. I'm seeing you emerging, and we have a full moon here, look. Are you emerging out of a period of darkness, my beautiful souls? Let's not say too much. Let's draw cards and see what else we're shown for you. I am seeing this and this. We please have a deeply personal message. How interesting. We have old habits that no longer serve need reviewing. Okay, so you are emerging and transforming. It may be that something will be illuminated, something will come to light here that will bring something to your attention. Angel of new beginnings, angel of tranquility. Okay. What else do we have for my beautiful pile of threes? May we ask for a deeply personal message for my pile of threes. Actually, I'm seeing that card there. I'm seeing this one. I'm seeing this one. This one. This one. Okay, my lovely pile threes. Wood Tiger, powerful beginnings and progress. And you've got Angel of New Beginnings. Water Ox, softness and gentleness. Water Pig, being in the flow. Earth Snake, gratitude leads to abundance. Fire Rabbit, welcome the muse. And Earth Dragon, as above, say below. Wow, okay. And draw your tarot cards as well in just a second. Let me bring these down so we have as much room as possible for you to see your cards. Mm. You are coming through something and out the other side, beautiful souls. You're coming out, I think, of a period of darkness. If any of you have been struggling with any form of depression or anxiety or grief or struggling with any kind of thinking patterns that are not working for you. I just feel you're coming out the other side. And I think this full moon or the energy of, of the moment whenever you've come to this reading is actually showing you, it, it, I don't know whether it will show you the way, but you are emerging. Welcome to the muse is really interesting. Fire rabbit, being in the flow, softness and gentleness, powerful new beginnings and progress. What you've got here is a combination of kind of stillness and gentleness as well as the energy of new beginnings. You're literally in a position of transition and even cancer, cancer's the crab. The crab can, I mean cancer is a, a very maternal nurturing energy so very gentle and the crab can of course live in the water, but also on the land. Again, it's you, you, this in-between, I'm seeing you in an in-between space with something. As above, so below. Again, there's that space between the worlds. Welcome the muse. Who is this and what is this? I'm seeing the spotlight coming in, in some way, perhaps upon you. Are you spotted? Are you seen by someone? We're looking for what's being illuminated here. What is this 
the energy of this super full moon illuminating for you? Are you going to come into the spotlight? May we please have more information about the fire rabbit? What is this card telling us, please? May we please have more information about the fire rabbit for my beautiful pile of threes? We have the six of cups. This is a card of emotional wellness. I think you're coming through and out the other side of something. Like you can breathe again for some of you, or you can be seen. Yes, of course. If you have retreated, and I don't mean retreat as in running away. I mean retreated as in, you know, sometimes stuff happens. Life can throw you a curveball and... Sometimes we do need to literally retreat. We need to move to a place of tranquility. We need, we need to go to a place of gentleness, softness, you know, just to exit the world a bit. I know um, many years ago, if you follow my, some of you, if you follow my readings, you'll know, um, you'll know from occasionally this comes up in a reading and I share it. Many years ago, I, I lost seven people in one year. And I honestly felt like there was no solid ground beneath me. And I needed to retreat. I literally did. I moved and I lived by the water for two years. I moved and it's when I started writing and my world shifted to working more spiritually. You know, before that I had a full-time psychotherapy practice. And I still do that work too and I integrate all of that work. But I needed to retreat and I feel for some reason you've needed to retreat. But this is the point when, look at this gateway opening for you. This is the point when a new beginning is to be offered to you with the Six of Cups. It's an offer. It's a gift. Mm. May we have more information, please? Welcome to the Muse. Now, a Muse is, is someone who inspires us. Something is to come here, I think, my pile three, and this is what the, the moon or the energy of the moon is illuminating for you. It's a new gateway, it's a new beginning. A new beginning is to be shown to you or a door opened. Something that entices you out of retreat, that says, or even for some of you, it's like it rubber stamps the fact that that period of darkness or retreat is over. If you've been literally swimming in your emotions, like something will come through and it's really interesting with Suello is a rune that says, you, you know, this is a path you must follow. So I think a doorway is to be opened for you. May we ask more about that doorway? What is the doorway that's being offered the universe? The universe has come out in every pile. So if you've been drawn to any of the other readings, check them out. It's, a big, it's an ending and a beginning at the same time. And look at the way the arm is up with a snake around the arm. Gratitude leads to abundance. I think there is a new opportunity being offered to you. I think the universe is going to open a door for you. May we ask how this door is being opened? We have the seven of discs. How is this door to be opened for my pile three? How is this door? May we ask for more information. How is this door to be opened? We have the hanged man. May we ask, how is this door to be opened? We have the card of justice. Hmm. Gosh, okay. I'm going to get some more clarifying cards around these in just a second, but uh, some of the messages, these will be relevant to some, but not all. Old habits that no longer serve need reviewing. For some of you, there's going to be a bit of a wake-up call here. Like with, just, with justice here, justice, need, justice will be served. And inside this cloak... We have the butterfly of transformation. We have wheat, you know, there's a harvest here. Something is coming back into balance. Again, if you've retreated, then something is coming in to illuminate you or the light is returning to you. Someone is bringing the light back to you, showing you the way, helping you. It could be someone or it could be a certain situation. I think something is coming in. 
possibly in quite a practical way, actually, that shows you, possibly even through example, that there is something, there is a better way of doing it or a better way of being or it's time to end the period of retreat. It could be something that inspires you. Somebody else inspires you through their actions, through who they are. But some a pathway is illuminated. Let's get more information. May we ask about this doorway, this opening? What is illuminated? Oh, okay. You have the Eight of Pentacles. How interesting. May we ask for further information about this? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Lovers. We have the King of Wands. Okay. Right, a new direction is to be shown to you or a gateway opened for you. Now, it could be that you get kind of like spotted, literally. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles, it's, it's got an energy of an, a work opportunity. Now, this could be something like, I don't know, let's say in your retreat, you took up painting as part of your therapeutic recovery or something. It would be like somebody spotting one of your paintings and saying, wow, this is amazing. Look, um, let's have an exhibition. Let's do something with this. Let's take this forward. It, it, there's something that you can be, you're being gifted an opportunity. And it's, it's something you're really, really going to love. It, it's a perfect pairing for you. It, it gives you back your agency. It gives you control over your life. It's like you can leave that period of darkness behind you. It's something that you can step up into and take an ownership of. That's what's being offered here. You literally, you can own it. To kind of to have and to hold, whatever that may be. You can invest in it with the seven of discs here. What else are we shown about this? There's, it, it, it could be a, literally an investment potential for some of you, but it's leading you somewhere. It's taking you from a place of uncertainty, darkness, difficulty, to a place of light, of visibility, of abundance. It, it's kind of the path you must follow. It will take you on a new journey. We have the judgment card. How interesting sitting next to justice. Yeah, the time, the time is actually now right for you to move away, my beautiful pile three, to move away from a period of retreat um, or reclusiveness or where you've hidden away or you haven't felt worthy or you've been processing something. Um, now is the time to move away from that. And I think you're going to be given an opportunity to be out there. May we have any further details about this, please? As to how this might actually arrive, I see an opportunity being given. We have the King of Pentacles. Well, uh, I think this is a work opportunity more than a relationship opportunity, I would say, with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands as well, especially with the Eight of Pentacles here. I, I mean, this could be like you get hunted or you get offered a job. Um, Maybe you, if you have been struggling to find work or to make ends meet, you get offered something that gives you the direction, gives you the resources you need or, you know, brings you a good wage or something. Something is taking you away from a place of stagnation, hibernation, into a place of literally empowerment and abundance. It does look to me more like a work opportunity here. So it could be someone offering you funding so that the hobby that you've been working at for ages can become your career pathway or it could be a job offer. But it's taking you away from this period of instability, darkness, difficulty, struggle, fear around not having enough. Powerful beginnings and progress. Gratitude leading to abundance. It's, it's, you know you're on track with this because it feels right. As above, so below. May we ask, 
let's get a different pack out. May we ask kind of how this is unfolding? Because I feel you guys have been through quite a, in quite a dark hole, if I'm truly honest, I think. Been, some of you have literally been through, through you know, a, a period of quite significant either grieving or darkness or depression or anxiety or physical struggle or lack. There's just been some tough stuff to deal with. This is your pathway out of this. May we ask, please, um, for any more guidance and to see maybe how this is going to be panning out. Could we get information about how this pans out? Metal horse, engage the heart to heal. Beautiful. Metal dragon, how fascinating. Waking the warrior within. How fascinating we're getting metal as an element coming through here. Wood rat, aligned with your purpose. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, my beautiful pile three. Engage the heart to heal, waking the warrior within, aligned with your purpose. This is taking you, you know, if you've been in that zone where you can't see the woods for the trees kind of thing. This is guidance, the guidance you're being guided through. Somebody's giving you something or an opportunity or you're seen, um, you're offered something or something takes off and it can take you away from a period of lack. Something is happening here. You are going to just know from your very, very heart, from the inside out, um, that this is the right pathway for you. It's, it's like you come alive again. Something is coming into your world to bring about, to reactivate your aliveness, to get you fully involved in life again from a place where you haven't been able to be. Perhaps there's just been too much going on. How interesting. It does look as though it's more of a work thing, if I'm honest. A, work, a walk, a work, a walk, a work, your calling aligned with your purpose. But whatever this opening is... It, it is actually right now. Something is to be left behind. If any of you have been struggling with addiction, you will be able to, something will come along to assist you in stepping up and beyond it, moving beyond it. You're not going to be bound by it anymore. Powerful beginnings. I mean, everything here is suggesting that something is arriving as a new beginning. I think it's, a, it's something to do with work, if I'm honest. I'm, even though... Um, even though we have the card of the lovers, the card of the lovers is principally a card of choice. If it is relationship with metal horse, engage the heart to heal, then it's a guided relationship that will bring you out of yourself and it will be destined, it will be, and there, there will be a purpose. If this is a relationship, then there will be a purpose to it. It's like you've come together with purpose. You have work to do together. On a spiritual level, you have work to do and that's why you've come together. So it will be, I'm not saying it won't be a, a loving, intimate relationship, but it would be a loving, intimate relationship where you really are a team and you, you just know that you support each other and particularly this person would be supporting you in your calling. And that's what's being illuminated here. It's the opening, it's the window, it's the opportunity. I still don't feel I know quite how. I don't know whether we will be shown, but let's ask how. May we ask how? Can we be given any more information? It may be that we, we can't know how. It's a general reading that will reach many. So may we ask, though, how? Could we ask how this might actually happen? Could we see if there's any inclination or any indication? So we have the Queen of Wands. We have the card of the world. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands, the world. Okay. Given that we have the universe here and we have the King of Wands up here too, I suspect something may, I think something is coming to its natural end. It may be that one job ends. And even if you were thinking, oh, this is the pits, you know, I've just, my job is ending. This is the last thing I needed. Um, 
literally as it ends another one will be offered to you you'll find and it will be so much better than the one you had so so much better so if something if a door closes for you another one will open straight away as one door closes the new is opening and it will align you with your purpose for some of you if you have been processing your own internal transformation with the queen of wands here something of that completes it reaches a point of completion Whereas you couldn't see the woods for the trees, the pathway becomes clear. I'm not really being given massive details here. More sort of, it's more like circumstantial energy being shown that something reaches a point of completion. So my beautiful souls, I think, I think we've been asking and I think I would have been gifted more, more detailed information if we were meant to see it but i think this is personal to you actually whatever this transformation is i th i think you already know what it is you know what you have been processing you know what you've been living with or trying to move through or, or pro you know transitioning from what will be shown in the energy of this super full moon so this is around us now, we're coming up to this, we're a couple of days away. What's to be shown to you, it will literally take you on the pathway that you need to go. It will show you the route away from where you've been and the elements of where you've been that are not okay. And that is absolutely clear for you, my beautiful souls. Very amazing. But big, big, big opportunities here. Really big opportunities. I feel like this is one of those opportunities when you're never going to look back. Or if you do look back, you'll just be, do you know what? That's such a space of the past. I'm not there anymore. It's absolutely lovely. It really, really is. Pile three, this is your reading. I am sending you the biggest, biggest hug. This is really, really exciting. This opening, this opportunity. It really is. I am thrilled for you. Whatever you are leaving behind, it's completely rightful that you do so now. It's really time to shift and follow the pathway that the universe brings you and guides you to follow. It, it is purposeful that you now leave that chapter of your world behind. Tons of love, beautiful souls. Thank you for being here. Thank you all of you who follow my readings and thank you to anyone who's new. Welcome. And um, don't forget to subscribe, press the little bell icon if, if you want to make sure you never, never miss a reading. And I look forward to seeing you again for another reading really soon.